Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, let me double check, make sure we've got our, yeah, we got our widgets up here. Okay, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, sorry for the delay. We had a couple things we had to, uh, had to attend to today. It's been a very uh, long, a yeah. very long day. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. We crossed 16,000 subscribers. Uh, thank you so much for that, everybody. If it sticks, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't stick. Yeah, lately they they, they just some people. We don't been know weird. why. It goes down. Like we'll hit a certain level, and then it'll go down like ten, and then it'll go back up like ten. I know it's weird. And then like, I don't we had know people that on. wrote us and said that they were, you know, they were subscribed, and then they're unsubscribed, and they don't know why. So it's just this weird thing. Anyway. It's the YouTube, the YouTube uh, algorithm. Hello, everybody. So originally, um, and we're, we are going to talk about uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. We actually watched it on I did, Crunchyroll did. last night. I, I freaking love talk about it. I love the concept. I like it too. I love the concept, and people were angry well, about it. You were it. late to the concept, which is not that he was accused. I of. was late. I was late. <laughs> no, you were. You relate. I relate. I do. But but, but not in the way it sounds. <laughs> we'll explain later. Okay, go ahead. Um. Yeah, but uh, right before we we were gonna go, oh, I was gonna pull up that Picard thing too. They're gonna ruin Picard somehow too. We'll we'll get to that later. Um. Uh. Let me write that down so I remember. Um. So yeah, we we saw this Gillette. Uh. This Gillette commercial. Um, uh, Gillette faces a bitter backlash online as customers threaten to boycott the brand over new Me Too inspired ad that aims to end toxic masculinity by calling out sexist misogynist okay. habits. Yes and no. See, this commercial, the point of the commercial they go to is that men should, you know, correct other men on bad behavior if you see it. That's the point. Right. Um, but I don't care if you're, ma you're male or female. If you see shitty behavior out of somebody, you should correct them on it. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Pope Fire. Starfire is the best Titan. Starfire Rebellion. Thank you. Gotcha, son. Again, thank you. Booze money. Gitch. Yeah, we need booze money. Today has we been... We really should have had oh booze today. Oh, my God. Today has been a rough day. Today been has really been a bad. really, really rough I'm day. I'm just close to um, crying, but it has nothing to do don't with... Don't make Geeky cry. It doesn't have anything to do with like anything health-related or anything like someone got sick or, or, or injured or something like that. No, job job related. We have a very complicated... It's a stressful um, relationship. I have anyway. a very complicated job situation. Anyway, <laughs> that so, okay, so anyway, <laughs> anyway, so Gillette puts this commercial out and they're supposed to be talking about toxic masculinity, but, but it starts out with the whole, we're going to have to show like all the things that men do that are bad Yeah. and like men, you know, you know, men are this and men are that and blah, blah, blah. And then men should do better. Men should teach oh, boys. Yeah, yeah here. Here it is. Uh, is are we allowed to play it? Or are we going to be like demonetized? Uh, demonetized. Demonetize. Play it. So basically, yeah, men be better. Uh, they're showing all these uh, horrible, um, horrible men doing horrible it. things. You're such a loser. Look, men. The, are these horrible things? Yeah. Should men not do it? Probably. There's a lot of things I can make a list of things women do that shouldn't be done too. Yeah. It's not playing audio. Think she's yeah, to Making the same um, excuses. Yeah, so, I mean, this is just... Uh, yeah, this boys we boys really pissed me off because you know where I've heard the boys we boys from? Moms and teachers. I don't think I've ever heard one man say that to me. No, I've never heard one man say boys we boys to me. It's always been moms and teachers. And there will be no going To justify kids' behavior. Because we... We believe in the best Well, thanks for having me. need to hold other men accountable. I agree. I agree. I yeah. think women need to hold other women to accountable. The right thing. So I guess this is sort of related. I think to women or men need to hold right some women thing. accountable, and women can hold men accountable. Some already are. In ways big. Yeah, this is. And that's what I agree. No, this I agree with. I, there are men out there doing the right thing. Right. I 100% agree. I think you find that there's more men that are doing the right thing than there are doing the wrong thing. But some. We had is not enough. Oh God! I'm a mom of a boy, and I don't want him to be like I'm bad person because I'm a boy. But yeah, and that's my takeaway from this. The comments. Yeah, I agree. I I basically agree with what they're saying. Is we have to do more. I agree, but that doesn't just mean men. That means women too. Where's the Gillette commercial where they're telling women that it's not okay to do things they do sometimes? I've been bullied more by women than I've ever been bullied by men. Yeah, okay, so here's a story. We have uh, our local school uh, actually made the news for bullying. There was a video that yes. was uh, a girl got in a fight. She was actually defending herself. Mm -hmm. from, and she got in trouble for hitting she back. Got, she got in trouble for defending herself from the mean girls. Mm -hmm. And it made uh, all kinds of local news, and it was a girl uh, fighting with It was girls know? picking on a girl. They got yeah. her so upset she fought back. 
Um, like, you know, this, this whole idea that there's it's only bad. Okay, I agree we have to call it bad behavior, but I have a son. And the way you start this commercial off is you're immediately getting people's back up by saying that, you know, toxic masculinity is a bad thing. Well, toxic masculinity is a bad thing. Toxic anything is a bad thing. But the whole idea is that, you know, most men are not these things. Most men are, are good people who aren't promoting this kind of behavior. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's look, I mean, I mean... I mean, I'm a woman and I'm pissed. Someone's like, propaganda has nothing to do with truth. Amen. Look at every... Well, almost every Yeah, man. I agree with Lily. This is what I'm saying. Same as, 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 as Lily said here. The message is understandable, but the execution was iffy. That's what I think, too. I think that's I think it has a good fair, message, but they delivered it in thing. a really shitty way, is what I think. Yeah, I think, basically, look, I get what they're trying to say, and I do agree that men need to hold other men accountable, but this comes across as all men are shitty. No, no, at the end, they, they do admit some men aren't. But some most men, are. men are. And the, the non-shitty are. men have to show the, the, the shitty men how to not because be shitty. Because men are born shitty. Men are just born uh, yeah. shitty. And we have to have All men are problematic. Models. All men are problematic. Uh, and they need, to be, they need to be disciplined by other men who have been disciplined by women. <laughs> yeah. and I think I think it is I think it's a very good point I totally 100% agree with the point where we need to call out bad behavior we see it and we need to be an example for others 100 200 1000 percent agree with that but the way you deliver this message no one's gonna listen to you because you pissed them all off before you got to the message by calling them all this and then the whole thing yeah boys be boys I literally have heard this from other people but it's never once been a guy it's always been women well, my son, he, 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 boys will be boys. Or that teacher, well, why did you let this happen in your classroom? Well, you know, boys will be boys. I've never heard it from a, man, a, a guy actually say it. Cause yeah, boy, I mean. Because you'd say, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, like, I mean, look, I got into, I'm not going to, you know, go down this road again, but I got into a lot of fights when I was a kid. I mean, I got into a lot of fights when I was a kid. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, do guys tend to be a little more uh, rough and tumble? Than the ladies but to yeah. be fair though the fights you got into is because people were picking on you and no one was handling their situation so you handled the situation the, the fights i got into we i, tell our son not I to got in no i tell my son He's to a, fight no you said no you say is don't start it but don't walk away from this it. is something this is this is um you know something i i tell my son and this actually came from my grandfather mm -hmm. uh rest in peace uh pat but my grandfather told me uh, never start a fight, mm -hmm. but by God, if somebody brings a fight to you, you better finish it. Yeah, well, because if you don't finish do it, too, it'll never end. It'll never end. And the thing is, like, you know, our son, for example, I mean, you've seen him. He's been on here, Squid King. Yeah. He's actually, um, he's very shy, but he's very well spoken. He's always been kind to everyone. Um, when he was a kid, actually, the girls always wanted to hang around with him because he said he wasn't mean to them like other boys. He would always, you know, be nice yeah. to them. He was always polite, always treat people with respect because that's how he was raised to, to be. And I, you know what? It isn't just men showing them by example. He's got a mom, too, who shows by example. And, um, you know, I don't want my son to see this commercial and be like, wait, there's something wrong with me because I'm a boy? No, this is it. Our son, okay, again, you know, we weren't even into any of this, like, stuff. like I said, we, you know, we leaned left. Like, we never yeah. really got into any of this stuff. Normally, I'd be like, yeah, but that's the way they presented it was crap. Years ago, but even, you know, he was even commenting on, like, second or third grade. He's like, how come the girls are pushing them to do more than the boys? How he come, used to be upset. He how come, come home. My, my female teachers clearly prefer the girls in the class and the boys? And this is, like, second or third grade, totally picked up on his own. Totally picked up on I his own. I would have to be... Well, I think it was middle school because I'm thinking about his elementary teachers and I don't think they would have done that. I think it was like fourth grade. It on. was like four, it was fourth grade. Um, it was fourth grade on because I remember the elementary teachers and I know them and they wouldn't have done that. Um, They all loved him. But I'm just saying, it's like, you know, I shouldn't have to tell my son to start off his life by apologizing to people because of what, you know, gender he is. I mean, you know, I, I they would. They do, they do, actually. I, I, yeah, they do. They always did. He always had girls around him. Um, but the thing is, you know, but he's always he's he's always treated women with respect. But I shouldn't have to have my son apologize for being a boy any more than I should. I should have to apologize for being a woman, or any of you should have to apologize for being however you identify. Because I know we have people who listen to us that, that are all different. You know, they are all different walks of life, identify different yeah, ways, yeah. all sexual orientations, different races, genders, whatever. You shouldn't have to apologize for who you are. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care if you're a woman. I don't care if you're black, if you're white, if you're you know gay, bi, straight. I don't care. You shouldn't have to apologize for who you are. And this basically no. is starting off with you need to apologize who you are. Yeah. For who notice, you are. notice that the vast majority of guys in the commercial. Um, I you know I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it out there. What color? Are the vast majority of men in this commercial, save for one or two? Well, uh, yeah. 
I'm just I'm just putting that out there. I'm just putting. Wait, that is out there a there. transition though? When it becomes the whole the, the no, there was a lot of white guys in the helpful section too. But I'm just like, yeah, I I just uh, God, I mean, look, I... white guy grabbing her, like, come on, white guy, grab. I mean, come on, come on. Historically, has the fuck that's been allowed, you know, been you know, per, per, you know, portrayed as okay. Yes, but it hasn't been okay for a long time. I'm like, it's like, like, it's no. like the sexual revolution never even happened. You know, it's look, like, I, and I'm not trying, I'm not trying to justify shitty behavior at all. Please don't take it. As such, men doing shitty things need to be held accountable for the shitty things they have done. However, but women doing shitty things need to be held accountable for the shitty things they have done. Correct. Correct. And that's where the double standard comes in. Basically, uh, what this commercial is telling me is men are guilty until proven innocent. Mm -hmm. Men are problematic. They're guilty until proven innocent. And, uh, you know, women just... Yeah, it's toxic front. masculinity. He's always yeah. blamed toxic masculinity, racism, sexism. Again, I saw some people today. Oh, they don't like the last Jedi because they're all racist, sexist. They're I'm like, comments. I'm, I'm like, a woman. We and had, I, 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 I don't like women because I'm a woman. I'm sexist. I'm like, says the people who like the sexist Gillette commercial. Um, it's just like, you know, why is this even, why are we even talking about this in a Gillette commercial? It's They, they, they sell razors. They make women's products. Where's the women commercial about women? We need to do better. I, all, all these feminists should stop bullying moms because they're not feminist enough, which actually has happened to me on numerous occasions. Yeah, um, we told you before about Geeky. She was invited to a, uh, well, we actually had, we have several, uh, several cases of, of Geeky and the, well, there goes the truck. <laughs> several cases of Geeky in the comic book industry not being feminist enough. Not right. being woke enough. I got jumped because, as a, and I am, I am a feminist woman by the true definition of feminism, which is equality, um, not this bastardized feminism, which is all men suck. Um, and I was like, you know, I made comments about, you know, because I'm a mom, well, I just sold out. You know, I'm like, well, it's not like I'm in, you know, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen and never doing anything else. I mean... Uh, yeah. I'm like, how is that selling out? I mean, some people want kids and some people don't. And you you're, know what? Yeah. I, you're allowed to not have kids. Care. You're allowed to have kids. It doesn't make you less of a woman either way. Yeah, My I, God. Know. I know. We had when we had a uh, we had a uh, a male uh, literary about that many agent. Times. Yeah, I know. Well, some people probably it didn't heard. go very well. Just FYI, yeah, we had a male literary agent telling her that her characters were not feminist enough, telling a woman that her characters were not womanly enough well what, what makes me yeah, what there's amuses, a problem what amuses me the most about all this stuff is these men usually and it's usually a white guy too going and talking about how um people are sexist and racist and then you say well i'm not i'm not either of those things i'm definitely not sexist because i'm a woman and you're arguing about women, female rights and i'm a woman well then you just don't count so like any of you people who are you know like for the sheer example i hate to keep going back there but we bring that example <laughs> we keep going back to everybody Shira. who doesn't like it are clearly uh men who are just mad because they can't you know sexualize shira and then people bring up well i'm a woman and i was not attracted to shira oh that, that's you don't count you're clearly a sock puppet I am, I am, uh, but I, I, I'm gay. You don't count. You're clearly a sock puppet. It's like you marginal, you're going up at marginalized people as you marginalize people further. But yes, do tell me how, you know, yeah. you're there to, to, for the rights of others. Listen so to anyway, women, listen to women, except the disagreeable ones. Yeah, listen to women as long as they're the women we agree with. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, and I'm like, whatever. Oh so, my God. So yeah, rah, Gillette, rah. Um, Gillette. This was a huge, this was a huge, this is, goes up there, there, what was that yeah. Dove commercial or whatever they had a few years ago that misfired? Did, did it really misfire though? I don't was remember. Was it Dove where they like, the, like the dark, the dark skin woman used the soap and she turned white or something? I oh, forget. Oh, there was something was like that. Was it Dove or something? Some no, soap? there was some commercial like that. I forgot about uh, that. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? I forgot. I don't even, I don't, I don't remember that exactly bad, what happened. That was a bad, I remember, I remember hearing about um, that. This is, this is one of the shittiest it, commercials. It is a good lesson just executed very poorly. Not even, like, just... Yeah, it was uh, It was a laundry commercial. It was a laundry commercial. That's what it was. A laundry laundry commercial. commercial. I saw it. I was like, who would have greenlit that? What the hell? That I'm offended for you. I know. Like, I'm like, wait, like, what? I'm like, come oh on. And this, this, I'm sorry. This, uh, again, the intentions might and have been... They all look like douche bros. You see that? They do. Because this is what all guys look like. The looking guys you can find. All guys are douche be like, be douchey and be like... He's a douche. Boys with boys. He's boys a douche. Boys. Look, this guy's laughing because he knows with that guy's little getting a little something something because he's a douchebag. Look at that hair. He's got he's got, he's got douchebag, douchebag hair. hair. He's got douchebag hair. Um, yeah, oh, no, douchebag. Yeah. But, but the other guy's gonna show him. Um, 
yeah, I, I just, sorry. I, this was a huge misfire and I, I'm seriously, I'm like, seriously, Gillette, seriously, do you know who buys your stuff? Seriously? Like you think Mostly the women, bad. because because yeah, the think... wives go and buy it. God. Okay, <sighs> so everybody's here for the the shield hero, the shield hero, rising yeah. of the rising of the the shield hero, which was hero. very good. Um, I'm very excited. When's it gonna start for the real? I think I think another day and a half. It's being delayed. Now, oh, really? Okay, cool. So we'll talk about. Okay, we'll talk about the delay first. We watched it last night. Everybody's been asking us for our opinion on it. I freaking love the concept. It's not really a douche bro hairstyle. He was joking. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> he, he's just jealous because he doesn't have it. I know. I shave my head. Go ahead. Most of the time I shave my head. Um, I should try. I should try grow. I should get like a, I should get a man bun thing. Going no, on. you should not get a man bun thing just because I don't like it. <laughs> okay. I mean, if, if you like it, go ahead, but just don't let me see it. Go okay. Ahead. So this is actually, this is coming from. I won't find you sexy This anymore. is the, oh man. <laughs> she likes my, she likes my, my smooth No, but a man scalp. bun I just wouldn't be attracted to. But that's me personally. But I'm not ahead. attracted to man buns either. Oh, okay. I'm well, not, I feel better about that. I feel um, better about that. As long as you're not attracted to man buns. I'm not attracted to man buns. Okay, Okay. so this is coming from Bounty in the Comics. Uh, This is sort of the succinct version of what's going on. Basically, uh, this anime is problematic, and it's running on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll of all places. Of all (laughs) places, this anime is running on, on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll, make up your fucking mind. What are you? What kind of channel are you? They're whatever they think they need Guardian to be. High Guardian Spice. They're whatever and they need to the be. The Shield Hero. So they can keep as many people as possible. <laughs> oh my god. DCV Titan, thank you. Did not have to do that. Um, in before, SJW's whine about the slavery. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so Crunchyroll's. The rising of the shield here, anime attacked by feminists and social justice warriors. Uh, yeah, there's there. I did see some articles calling out it's problematic. However, it has five stars on Crunchyroll. There Wars. would be very few animes that that most of the SJWs and feminists wouldn't find something to, to complain about. There's very few. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. So here's a synopsis. If you have not seen the show, if you're watching this now and you haven't seen the show, I'm like, why are you watching it? But thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't seen the show, basically, uh, this uh, this uh, otaku, this uh, nerdy guy gets called to another world with um, some other uh, dudes who are all, like, I guess, more... Uh, they all have, like, they're socially all, there's four of them. There's four warriors. Four of them. Like kind a, of like Final Fantasy. You got right. The it's very Final Fantasy. Warriors, the Crystal Warriors. Uh, but they each are given a weapon, and he gets the shield, which is like a dud. Everybody else has an offensive weapon. He's got the shield. Um, so he's already, like, a loser. So he's a loser he's in the real world. He's already labeled a quote-unquote loser. He's already, yeah, he's already. Just based on that. Just based on the fact he has a shield, but it goes from bad to worse. Not only is he a loser because he's got the shield, um, but his, his, uh, comrades throw him under the bus and he gets accused of, uh, raping a thief because she, well, no, she, but they, 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 well, we know she's a thief, but right. He didn't do it. And, there, well, and then, what's the thing? And, and but he's been tarred red, and feathered. However, there are redheads in this. The bad girl is a redhead. Yeah. Um, and the, I think the slave girl he's going to end up with is a redhead also. Yeah. You know. So, Woo-hoo, um, redheads. so yeah. So he's, he's all I, thinking. I, I, I was very quick. Someone said about Dragon Ball. Yeah. I saw that the other day that they're, that they're oh, trying to attack. Bulma? Yes. That there's yeah. no strong women in, in Dragon Ball. I'm like, have you watched it? Anyway, go ahead. Bulma like drives the plot. The <laughs> I know, person. but God. she doesn't count. God, Mark C. Harry's oh. razors. A best man can get. I've yeah. You know about what? trying those actually. Yeah. Screw July. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I like, I, I just, guys, that was, I can't even believe you. You ran that. I usually like, use Bic anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Use, they <laughs> cut. They cut though. They cut. I don't. The women's ones don't. I gotta go see what I got. I don't even know. I'll buy I you got. the girls. I got ones the razors that they're shave. They're nicer. They are actually women's razors work better. I know that's where my razors keep going. Anyway, yeah. back to the topic. Um. So anyway, yes. Oh, yeah, Thief is a princess. Yeah, yes. she's a princess, but she's uh, a twit. And she's clearly uh, with uh, one of his uh, competitors, frenemies, whatever. And uh, she she sweet talks him, uh, gets his trust, and then uh, robs him blind and accuses him of rape. So now he's an outcast in this kingdom. everybody thinks he's a bad person. Everybody hates this guy now. They already hated him because he's a loser with a shield. He has no offensive weapons. So now he's got to figure out. Now he's got to figure out how to, to win the quote unquote game or how to, you know, you know, fulfill his quest, um, without being able to use offensive weapons. A woman wrote the really a woman wrote the story. Oh, 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 interesting. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And I actually someone never else read the said manga. The, the false rape accusation is not even part of the major part of the story. I no, think. it's just, it adds to his misery. Like he's already got everything going against him. And now he's, he's, he's considered a rapist on top of everything else, you know? Um, so yeah, anyway, the concept I love, like this guy has everything working against him. He can't go home. 
know, he's got like everything working against him. He's stuck. Uh, he's an outcast. Um, the people that are supposed to be working with him freaking hate his guts. He's, he's getting no help from anyone. He thought he had help and she accuses him of like, I think a lot of people in life can relate to, accused of to the, pro- well, no, they relate to the protagonist. <laughs> just no, no. But just in the fact that like everything is working against you. So you have to be smarter. You have to be smarter. Yeah. We, the show's not bad. Just fence. Yeah. We get that. We get that. Just having the shield doesn't make you bad. I'm saying in the show, they keep acting like he's weak because he has a shield. Just keep watching payoff later. Yeah. I have, I'm sure I, I'm waiting for that. I'm, I want to watch just for the payoff. Um, I want the payoff. I want this guy to, author is secretive. We don't know the gender. It doesn't really matter if it's a male I or female. I want this, this guy to, to take out all the to kick all their anyway uh, to, to make him sorry that's what i want i'm rooting for him i'm rooting for him because he is the underdog so what has happened let's see here um actually the false rape accusation is pretty key to the conflict between him well and i him. think it turns him the way he is and, you know. i think he gets he's bitter he's bitter because god he can't do anything right and now on top of everything else he was trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> I'm He's... sorry. I have to laugh about this. Real quick, the one person said, where did I see it? You can tell it's written by a woman because a woman tend to show how vindictive other women can be. Yeah. And if you're a guy saying a women are vindictive, you're not allowed to do that. And women can't no, be. Oh, my God. Women no, can be if the you say women you've ever can seen. be vindictive, you get the Gillette commercial. Uh, Vassal Park, thank you. Didn't have to do that. A poem. The pie is a lie. The cake is a fake. Shield hero is a zero, but really he's a hero. He wields a shield. He defeats the waves and saves the day. Yay. I want him to win. I want him to make those those bitches sorry, because uh, they're all a bunch of bitches. Even the men, everybody's a bitch. No um, offense taken. But they they want him to be the bitch. They want him to be a bitch, and he's not a bitch. He's... See, see, you really see why he relates to this is because it's hot as often happens. And we go in and we trust people. And we do what we're supposed to do, and then they they backstab you, and and then you just get bitter, and then you wind up on YouTube. Making then you wind up on you wind up on YouTube. Yeah, you wind up on YouTube because you've been kick some when, ass. You, when you've been the outcast. Okay, when you've been the outcast before, and you have everything working against you, you, you go to YouTube. Oh, I'm so. That's the payoff <laughs> that's, that's is really. They keep saying the payoff is really good. I gotta see this payoff. But anyway, no, go I to the point. I'm, I what has happened you. that has everyone up in arms? In the first episode, we learned that uh, now Fumi, shortly after being uh, transported to the fancy world, is accused of rape by a female character named Mine. Following his arrival in the fancy world, four heroes split into two teams. Um, I think I'm saying his name. Is it now Fumi? Nafumi? I don't know. Uh, I'm teams up with it um, wrong. Mine on one day and with Multi on the next after teaming up with Mine and sleeping in separate locations. Uh, now Fumi wakes up to find his belongings, including his gear and silver, have been taken. Have been taken. Uh, Mine, who was supposed to be his hero partner, also accuses him of rape. Uh, the situation worsens when a torn uh, negligee is found on his bed. Although he attempts to defend himself, uh, the other three heroes don't believe well, him. Well, I think they're ostracized. in on it. Ostracized. I think they're in on it. They're in on it. In the fantasy world, the assault of a female is comparable to a capital offense. Uh, but now Fumi is only saved due to his status as one of the four heroes. Yeah, if he didn't have this doodad on his arm, uh, they would have killed him. They even said as much. They said it was matriarchy. They <laughs> I'm sorry, killed him. I love this. An intelligent man once said the phrase that perfectly sums it up. Bitches be crazy. That's true. Uh, so, sounds like, okay, Zen says it sounds like mouth foamy. Now foamy. Now foamy. Okay, now okay, foamy. Foul foamy. Okay, now foamy. I, I didn't catch it. it was all, I, was, I was enamored by the little balloon uh, monsters. They were so cool. Uh, now Fomi continues to plead his case uh, to mine. She does stop her crying for a moment and sticks out her tongue as means confirmed she really did falsely accuse we the shield figured. bearer of rape. And social justice crowds are up in arms. Of course they are because, um, you know, this is completely implausible. This would never happen. Want to right? bet? Uh, it's, all, it's all the Gillette men that do this unsurprising social justice elements of the internet were not happy that a false rape accusation was used as a plot point anime feminist i can't imagine why they would be upset uh refused to review the first episode due to its content however they did have a few choice words for the series i have never seen a series with su- such a deeply held <laughs> victim mentality but if they only saw the first episode how can they comment on the series they also know that our readers know why a series hinging on false rape accusations, slavery, apologism is wrong. They never said the slavery is right. They never said it's right. It's Not just, yet, it's, anyway. I don't know. Did I they? didn't watch it later. But I'm saying, if you only go on for the first episode, they didn't say it was right. Yeah, the blonde guy wasn't on. He's a, he's a douchebag. He is a bitch. He's a bitch and he needs to go down. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, feminists would like to lift off a number of organizations dealing with sexual assault. Men can stop rape. And again, Gillette commercial. Uh, for more information on that, that PSA brought to you by Gillette. Others, such as Anime News Network, had reviewers who chose to base their low ratings of the episode on the plot point they didn't like. 
For example, James Beckett went so far as to scold the writers for using fake rape allegations, giving the episode a one and a half. Every trick in the book is employed to frame mine as an exaggeration of a duplicitous, promiscuous harpy that uses her beauty to But she did! And now Fomi is the innocent everyman who's punished for being too trusting, thus justifying the hatred and misanthropy that follows him. It's not just but a cliche. That's, but that's what... Okay, go ahead. It's a fantasy of persecution that's frequently propagated by men in order to justify mistreatment okay, and Okay, I'm a woman. Women. Hold up here. I'm a woman. I'm calling bullshit. Incoming! Okay, I'm calling bullshit on this <clears> because <throat> a couple of things. The whole... the whole, I've seen other comments. The whole thing was, well, fake rape, rape accusations don't happen. Oh, like hell they don't. Because I told you guys before about... I had a teacher yeah, in school. Yeah, actually happened. It's I, actually in happened. my school, there's a teacher in the school and girls accused him of a, a sexual assault and doing bad things. And, and, and then he ended up having to be put on leave and he ended up retiring early and his reputation was ruined. And, and, and I knew the teacher. I'm like, there's no way he did that. He didn't do it. The girls made it up because they were mad because they didn't get a grade they thought they should have got on a test and yeah. just recently in a town not far from here there is a boy who had some girls accuse him of sexual assault and then he was kicked out of school he was put in juvie they had all this other stuff go down and then the girls later admitted they made it up because they didn't like him and in our state that's a felony but yet the women are still walking around and nothing's been done to them even though they proved that they lied and they admitted they lied yeah i mean so, i don't like hell it doesn't happen well again like we said before you know with the last year situation all these other like we don't know exactly what happened but when there are investigations and and people are cleared like i mean you know what point i mean any, any more if the stigma is there if you've been accused of wrongdoing even if you're proven innocent the stigma is there right right it's all you you're are always ruined. Bl- you're always if you, you are did accused, it, whether you did or didn't yeah. if you are accused you're ruined forever professionally uh, personally, right. you're ruined so forever. So this whole idea, this is just a, a cliche of fantasy of persecution. It's not a fantasy of persecution. I know of two examples not far from here that it actually happened. I've seen it with my own, I've been there. It, it, it does happen. Now, does that mean we shouldn't believe women? No, that's not what I'm saying. I think you need to investigate things before you go making accusations. It's a really heavy accusation to make. Yeah. Uh, and the problem is, and then beyond that, if you're a woman who's falsely accusing people of attack, you are the one who ultimately should be ashamed of yourself. And there is no excuse for you. And I'll tell you why. Beyond the fact that you're ruining a poor person who didn't do anything. The next girl who comes along who actually legitimately is attacked, no one's going to believe her. They're going to think twice before they act and something bad could happen to that girl because yeah. you cried wolf and because you, you, know, you wanted to damage somebody and all you did was get the other girl hurt worse because you did something shitty. And I mean, beyond the fact that you're damaging somebody else and their reputation, the next person that comes along, no one's going to believe them or not going to be quickly to act and they could end up in a far worse situation because you lied. Sorry I'm yelling, but I'm don't even go there with me because I'm, I'm waiting for these other kids to end up really hurt because of people making up bullshit. And the whole idea that doesn't happen is a flat out lie. It does happen. It does happen. I mean, it's... it's Believe women. For, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I think, but, any, I think any legit believe, accusation you know, warrants investigation. Right. Investigation. You know? But you don't just make accusations. Not every accusation is truthful. In any situation, people can accuse people accuse people of all the time. Does it make it always true? No, no, it doesn't. Anyway, uh, um, anyway, people are, are talking about spoilers. Sorry, we weren't trying to spoil the show. I guess we kind of assumed everyone had had seen it uh, by now. But um, it, this is kind of the crux of the whole argument with it. It's is, only the first episode. Yeah, though, it's only so the first episode. It. Okay. It's only the first episode. Um, Evangelion, yeah, there's going to be that one scene in the hospital. Um, the let me think here. Is that the, the in the movie? Yeah, it's it's that's going to be problematic. What? Uh, that's going to be problematic. Must be problematic. Uh, Evangelion. Oh. Um, Shinji. Uh, Shinji. Uh, uh, I missed the comment. So Shinji spanks it to Oscar in the hospital. She's in the hospital bed, unconscious, and he decides that's a good time to. Wait, that's just gross. Have some some alone time. Uh, but himself. at least he didn't do you know, do it on her. It's really freaking weird. It's really disturbing. Uh, nightmare. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. All propaganda it has to be popular. It has to accommodate itself to the comprehension. Oh no! <laughs> Yikes! At the least intelligent. Of yeah. Those who Hitler. Sorry, we had to read it because on there. We so. had to read it, but yeah. So um, now I'm waiting for. Oh no! I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for the. The folks oh, that come in. Yeah, A H. A H. A H. Assigned A H. D C V Titan. Uh, just recently, there was a boy that got falsely accused by two different girls. The family had to move over. The yeah, line. that's what's. Yeah, that's, that's what we're hearing. That's happened um, recently here too. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the. Uh, I'm waiting for the. Uh, uh, the the YouTube bots 
to come in okay, now. Well, They're going to come in and swarm us because we're talking about things we should not talk about. There was a sad story of a male feminist who committed suicide because his friend blamed him for assault during a women's march. Oh, yeah, I think I read about that. That's horrible. I, think I read about that. Oh, God, this is... And how is that his fault? I don't know, but this is... Okay, well, it goes on to say it would be, anyway, fool- it would be foolish to, to say this. that no person has ever falsely accused another assault. Yeah, it'd be foolish to say that. And some people actually said that. But the fact is that society more often does not take allegations of sexual assault seriously and often publishes, publish, punishes victims for speaking out about it. That I agree with. It is not taken seriously. And a lot of times victims are, um, people are afraid to come forward because they don't believe they're they don't think they'll be believed or they're ridiculed. And that actually is true also. I am going to yeah. 100% say that that does happen. The situation is so bad that the majority of victims choose not to report because they assume that they will be ignored or harassed further. And I agree that does happen. This is why rising the shield here's treatment of the subject matter deserves to be discussed. I think it deserves to be discussed, but it doesn't make it automatically bad. Um, no, well, this is, okay, this is what, oh, God, this gets me too. And this is kind of like, this goes with, you're part of... Oh, my uh, God. That he did it on her? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. They're talking about the, the Shinji scene. Oh, God. Yeah, it's really gross. That's just messed up. That's, <laughs> it's that's, really that's gross. That's messed up, man. It's really that's gross. Still, I think that's a still Tyler Press, I want plushie of the balloon demons. I love the balloon demons. You know what? Demons. There you go. That's what I should do for my next plushie. I should make balloon demons. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so anyway, anyway, discuss it, yes, but how can you discuss it when people won't even review it? Well, they won't discuss They won't even talk about it. But there is a discussion. There is no discussion. It's a discussion. Do, does rape happen? Yes. Do people get falsely accused of rape? Yes. Yeah. So th- is that a, a valid plot point? Yes. It's, it happens. You can't say you can never put this in a story because it's not, if we put everything in stories that people were okay with and, and, not, and nothing that they weren't, there would be no good stories. Yeah, and I even, mean... Even a good story starts with something bad almost off, oftentimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean... God, just... It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. I'm doing a drink, but it's not the good kind of drink. <laughs> Shinji is a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, Shinji is a little bitch. He is. Um, okay, uh, DCV Tank, thank you. Don't have to keep doing that. Also, there's more behind the hate for the shield hero. And yeah, the punishment, the jerk scoffed with the queen returns. Okay, I'm looking God, forward to this I wanna, punishment. I want to watch this now. I'm all about the punishment. Other, other <laughs> reviewers weren't much kinder with Nick Creamer. Wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, it's Shinji. <laughs> Shinji Creamer. What is called Shinji? Nick Creamer. Is that his real name? Hi, oh, well, He's Shinji Nick to me. Nick Creamer calling to burn the episode, writing burn it and salt the earth. What? I'm like, a you woman. Are salty. I'm a woman and it didn't offend me. Because I've known women like this bitch. And I'm just like, oh yeah, I know some women who do that. Would you would you would you marry a guy named Nick Creamer? No. You'd be, I wouldn't. You'd be geeky creamer. <laughs> This is Creamer. Oh, anyway, God. Yeah. Um, Creamer derided the writing of the episode writing, but this author isn't angry at women. His bitter paranoia extends to basically everyone around him. We do not know the gender of the writer of this uh, uh, manga, do we? This anime. I don't know. We? People said they, they don't know. Um, he also went after now now Fumi's now Fomi's character, describing him as unlikely. Un- unlikely, unlikable, and a casually misogynistic. I didn't way. find him misogynistic. He wasn't. He wasn't misogynistic. Not compared to the he other guys. He was a very shy. He was a very shy guy. Like I know guys like this. Mm-hmm. He's an otaku. He like he like he mind his own business. He was minding his own business. He got thrown in this situation, and he wouldn't even like. Hey, I'm not going to drink. I just I don't drink. <laughs> I'm a good guy. I'm going to bed. And next thing you know. And on that, I, I can't think of anything he did that was misogynistic until after he was accused. And and even then, it's like, you know, oh, because he's like, I'm in a new world. Maybe I'll find a girlfriend here. I mean, come on. If you're, 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 you don't get out much in the real world and you go to another world, you I mean, I could say, if I, as a girl, I'd be like, if I wasn't married to you, of course, I'd be like, ooh, there might be some hotties here, you know? I mean, this might, yeah, be, good. This other, might be a good thing. I'm looking for a silver lining. Brian says, Neon, change your last no, name to Creamer. So I mean, Neon, Neon Creamer uh, sounds like a male pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> like I should be doing Vegas. That's right, everybody. It's Neon Creamer. Except if you ever saw him dance, you wouldn't want him to. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, no, I don't even have. I don't even have. I don't I'm even the dancer have, in I don't the even family. Have words. I don't even have words. I'm the dancer. Oh, uh, those are pretty strong words. Um, website. Uh, what? Like the lament, the false rape alley. Yeah, it's basically. So this is. Um, but they're gonna have problems with any type. There's so, so many shows. And there's so many shows that are good in movies too that the premise starts with something bad happening. So basically nothing bad can ever happen. I hate to break it to you, but in the real world, bad things happen all the time. Use yeah. it as a teachable moment. 
God. Bad things happen all the time. Bad things do happen. I mean, it's unfortunate that, it, you know, and I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know how to, you know, say Neon Gelly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, I would make sure you were awake, though. Okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Because you have my assurance. I thank make you sure for that. You were awake. <laughs> anyway. I appreciate that. Yeah, Genesis Creamer. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is uh, so this is what's going on with this. And we watched it. And honestly, like, you know, if it wasn't for people, like, I'd be like, wow, what? she's kind of she's kind of skeezy. And I wouldn't have thought anything up. Like, even if this, if this show came out 10 years ago. Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. I don't think anybody would have thought anything of it i don't think anything would anybody would have thought anything of it um oh because of the slut thing but she did well, look she, like like a slut and she was all over the blonde haired man bun guy i mean in the book the girl in the book yeah she did yeah. kind of look slutty and he was kind of like eh, she's kind of slight and he wasn't like a you know it was more like a, eh, whatever. I'm yeah, not whatever. Really, whatever i'm not really into that but whatever yeah no he was, seemed was like a genuinely like... <laughs> genuinely good guy he was just misogynistic like he was a gen oh well, yeah because he called her a slut well yeah she's kind of like eh, that's I, you know book. what i guess i'm a misogynist because i see i've seen girls in books that, and i was like oh that is she's kind of slutty what the heck's up with that you know i mean we all have done so it what else we got I'm called men slut i'm like oh he's a slut i've totally done that you know so now it's being it's being delayed uh i guess it what 36 hours uh now oh hey look at that uh due to unforeseen circumstances we will not be able to share the dubbed episode of rising shield here with all of you tomorrow's plan thanks for understanding we hope you'll enjoy the premiere of the subtitle release which we did see um so now what is going on the rising of the shield hero has been advertised as one of the biggest anime debuts in winter comicbook.com um didn't know family keep watching and the anime fan community has been torn over its debut episode featuring many divisive elements within the premiere the series has sparked a major controversy as now fans do not know at this point as to whether or not they will continue watching are. the show from now on i don't know i think how, how come it, it, they can be controversial and that's okay but the last jedi is controversial and everybody's supposed to just like it anyway, yeah go ahead dcb titan uh thank you didn't have or to bitch was i thought it was i thought it was a slut or something I I I forget. She was a it was something like that but come on i've done that I've looked at books and been like, oh, that's a, that person's a bit. I've looked at pictures of men and been like, that guy's a slut. I mean, <laughs> come on. I mean. And he called her a bit. I don't know. I mean, I. I called her. Yeah. I mean, I. Look. He God, was, I've done that. I don't know. But I'm a woman, so I guess I'm allowed. So the only people that seem to be calling out the. Because look, I mean, if you actually go out to Crunchyroll, I think it's got a five. It's got five star reviews. Now, this whole thing. People are getting like, so upset over nothing. And it's like, you know what? It's like. You know, if you if every story has to have nothing problematic in it, there's never going to be any good stories ever, because there's you know, you're not going to agree with everything all the time. It's just the way it yeah. is. Do, 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 are you going do, to? What are you I'm doing? Gonna find, I'm going to see what the rating is on it now. I'm going to see what the rating is. What's the rating? Here we go. Episode one. What's it got? What's it got? Oh, look at this. People like it. Four thousand mm -hmm. votes, five stars. People like it. People like it. I can't wait to see the ratings on High Guardian Spice. I love They're going to blow right? it up. High Guardian Spice is going to just blow this thing. What do you mean delayed? You, uh, apparently it's being delayed. Uh, the main character, okay. If the main character wasn't a hero, they would have executed him. Yeah, literally what King says. Um, yeah, absolutely. Funimation is going to ruin the dub. I think they're probably going to censor it. I think they're going um, to change it now because people are pissed. Uh, thank, That's why it's delayed. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. It's Goblin Slayer all over again. Yeah, it is Goblin Slayer, but I don't think this is as... Uh, I don't think it's... I don't think this is as egregious as Goblin Slayer, even. Like, this is just... Like, this is anime. This is... Anime has been... Has been this way forever. I know. It's like... like this, this is, is nothing, nothing new. new. So it's like, she's a bitch. Well, she is. This I know. is it's nothing like, new. <laughs> they weren't wrong. Uh, Zorn Zero. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. Slavery is okay, but false false rape is over the line. Yeah, apparently. Well, slavery wasn't okay in this either. I was very upset. I felt bad, for the especially for the animals. I'm like, that's not fair. Yeah, I mean, it's, look, it's dealing with, we're dealing with the fantasy world, we're dealing with, uh, you know, um, it just some, you know, I mean. Well, don't look. you know that if you write a story, you could have nothing in it that could be deemed problematic, so you could have no interesting, interesting elements to your story whatsoever, because somebody's going to get pissed. Your story should be once upon a time, the end, and they'll still get mad about that. <laughs> so just you know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it seems to be pretty popular on Crunchyroll. Now, this is weird though, because Crunchyroll. Uh, we know Crunchyroll has been has been pushing uh, for more like Tumblr type type folks. Uh, we saw that marketing campaign, that uh, Stay Crunchy, 
Stay Crunchy, which not a good tagline. Not a good tagline. Uh, they want everybody to stay crunchy. Uh, they want you to stay subscribed to Crunchyroll. They're going to bring you High Guardian Spice. Um, but apparently they're also going to bring you uh, problematic shows like The Rising of the Shield Hero. Um, but I think I just, I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that this show is going to get more views than High Guardian Spice. And it's like the more you guys go out there and yell and scream about it, the more people are going to watch it. Be like, really? What's the big deal? I, I never would have. bad? I, I will watch it. I never, I never would have given the show the time of day if there wasn't controversy surrounding it. Because I'm like, like hey, this, this has to be bad. horrible. Let's watch it. Now I'm just going to watch it to see this redhead chick get her butt kicked. I mean, that's the reason I'm, I mean, I'm all for it. Yeah, now I'm like, dude, yeah, go you. Um, and again, I mean, look, uh, you know, this isn't this isn't dismissing women who have legitimate, I mean, this uh, not at all, but to say that, you know, false rape accusations never happen is, is disingenuine too, you know, because it's not, we know it's not the case. We know it's not the case. Someone said, I hate to see Geeky not manage to save the animals in Super Metroid. No, it's hilarious because we'll play games and stuff, and Neon will deliberately like the kill the animals, and I'll get upset and yell at him. And he's like, but it's going to kill me. I'm like, I don't care. Don't you hurt that animal. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble. Well, you told, I, you, Okay. You can tell him what you did, but you deserve to get in trouble. Which one is it? You talking about the Minecraft one? Are we talking about the Pork Chop Factory? Yes. Okay, so when Squid no, King, other things, but we'll bring out the. We'll bring up the. We'll bring out. We'll bring out. Okay, so Squid King was little, uh, little, little. We used to play Minecraft all the time, back in the day. He was he was on Minecraft before anybody knew what Minecraft was. Man, that kid is hip. He knows. So he's playing he was Minecraft on Terraria like, before it was like big. 2009, 2010. He's, he's always Minecraft. he always on stuff before it's popular. So we made we made a pork chop factory. So we would spawn the pigs onto the conveyor belt, and they would fall into the fire and turn into pork chops. And then we had a little cart that would move the pork chops it was a it was it was kind of cool it was like the chef boyardee factory i wasn't amused i was not amused like don't um, kill the so you're like what are you what are you doing in squid king at the time was like maybe a nine ten i don't think he's i don't know if he's well yeah it was a while ago yeah but. so it's like what are you doing oh we got a pork chop factory yeah, going on mind. here we got a pork chop factory going on here <laughs> didn't, so, i didn't go over with me it didn't go over with uh, me anyway anyway so what are we talking about next what are we what are we talking about? Um okay, so what else we got? What else oh, we let's got? talk about the naked mole rat. Oh my god. Okay, Nicholas Horton, thank you didn't have to do that. No one considers hearing now Fumi's side. No, they don't. They don't listen no, they because don't. They I'm don't actually don't listen to him. And see, I think that's more realistic than anything else. Uh Mark C, folks I remember Gotcha Man uh, Battle about the Plants episode where the Keith character slaps the piss out of the princess character for being too emotional. <laughs> Yo, I could totally see that uh that happened back then. Naked Mole Rat. Yeah, so you know how we were talking about the uh, Kim Possible live action movie and how it just possibly couldn't couldn't get any better. We're couldn't like, they're awesome. either going to use a real Naked Mole Rat, but they're probably is a CG Naked Mole Rat. Guess what? And we joked. We're like, oh my God, they wouldn't go there. They'll probably just cut Rufus out of it completely. Hell no. They're going there. CG Rufus. This, this, this is going to be... In the live action, low budget. Well, he's there isn't a real one. No, but he's he looks like a Pokemon. I don't know what he looks like. So, um, yeah, Rufus is going to be in it. <laughs> he's going to be CG and he's smiling at you. Uh, but they did get Nancy Cartwright to come back and so do his voice. So there's that, which is cool. Yeah, uh, cool. I guess there's that. I guess that's that. Oh my eyes. So there will be a Rufus. <laughs> um, so we got Rufus. We got the uh, the girl. I don't even know what the girl was on. Is playing Kim Possible, and we've got the uh, the kid from the Goldbergs playing Ron, and he's gonna be hanging. Well, there out was with a little his... video of it. Did you have it? Did you pull it up? That I sent it to you, or did you I not? didn't pull okay. it up? Okay, I, I sent you a little video. If you go out there, there is a little video where, where, um, where they're at? interviewing uh, the kid from the Goldbergs is playing uh, um, Ron Stoppable. And oh God! Don't don't oh, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a live action Rufus. Here we go, guys. Oh Here God. we go. Rufus, Rufus in live action. It looks like balls. <laughs> oh my God, that's nightmare fuel. There we go. That's Rufus in live action, guys. Oh my God. No, it's uh, not. Rufus in live action. Okay, oh, so they have yeah, a video. Just, yeah, here it is. Are we gonna look at this video? You can watch part of it. Here we go. Here we go. It is stoppable. Rufus, Rufus stop him. You don't have to play the whole thing. Just Oh, the, the, there he is. I just, this kid is not, he's not Ron Stoppable. I'm sorry. I don't know if I play the whole thing. I don't want to get me Yeah, like, but look, he, he like. blew my mind 16 years ago. He just squeaks and makes. Wait, I just heard. He just squeaks. He just. He just. Squeaks and makes. 
He brings his <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. Uh, yeah, so uh, Rufus. By, by uh, Rufus is... is oh my god, thing. there he is. And he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. yeah, Rufus, Rufus is coming your way, the uh, Kim Possible. Uh, However, I don't think he's too bad, but I also think it's good that he, they use that, not a real one, because they could totally hurt a real one. Oh, my God. What happened to Rufus? Oh, my God. I sat on him, and it broke his neck. <laughs> oh, damn. That was so funny. Stop. I laughed until I realized what you said. The kid like, from the hey. Goldbergs killed Rufus. <laughs> Don't make, no, oh stop. stop, stop with your evil talk. Oh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, um, have fun. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. <laughs> well, they got that wrong. <laughs> Didn't this film watch, this watch a cartoon series of naked mole rap? They never met in a lab. Yeah, it's true. They didn't. Uh, Smarty Mart was having a sale. Yeah. Oh God. Now they're going in the whole lore. Uh, girl, I used to, uh, girl I used to work with looked like Rufus. She was, <laughs> she was, she was a shitty human. Did you look like that one thing we saw? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway. Oh my god. Rufus. Uh, yeah, Rufus is, um, yeah, Rufus is, uh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming whether you want him or not. Uh, Rufus. And, uh, You're going to do it again? No, I'm not. Just That's Rufus. There's Rufus. I just, you know, I kind of kind of wish they wouldn't have put Rufus in this at all. I kind of wish they wouldn't have put Rufus in this at all. Oh, God. Okay, so now what else are you talking about? What else are we going to talk about? Let's see here. Uh, Doctor Who. Um, we'll talk about Doctor Who. No, that's Captain Marvel. Doctor Who. This is another we got this covered. Because we got this covered. So Doctor Who and Captain Marvel in the same thing. Finally admitting. Again, we've had multiple articles uh, in the last week or so where, uh, you know, these news outlets that were all fiercely defending uh, Series 11. Series 11 are now coming out and saying, hey, you know what? Uh, it wasn't so great. It wasn't so great. <laughs> so Doctor Who's New Year's special down 30%. BBC America ratings. You don't say. You don't. You don't say. No. Who, no. It's like, it's like, why didn't anybody tell us that the ratings were going down? Yeah, Doctor Who returned uh, to our screens on New Year's Day in an exciting adventure. Well, that's that is debatable. Moving the show's annual winter special from its traditional Christmas Day slot to January 1st was seen as a risky move. Yeah, you think? So all eyes have been on the viewing figures to see if the shift paid off. And looking at BBC America's numbers, we're not sure that it did. No, you, you think? Do you think? Compared with 2017's winter special, Capaldi's swan song, twice, blah, 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 it fell by 29%. And the key demographic of 18 to 49 year olds in total average 1.4 million viewers. Um, wow. It seems the 13th doctor's first battle with her greatest nemesis was less of a draw than the final battle of the 12th doctor who also encountered his first incarnation in that episode. Speaking of which twice earned a more impressive 1.7 total viewers back in December. Yeah. Like, can you finally admit it? People, people just aren't, they're just not into it. <laughs> happy <laughs> somebody voted 100 percent of the people are voted happy uh similar story formed across the pond as well resolution was watched by 5.15 million in the overnight ratings earning the dubious honor of being the least viewed doctor who winter special since the beginning back in 2005 this follows on from a general general downward trajectory in seasons season 11's ratings as a whole they're finally admitting it yeah. So what happened what, to that big upswing we were supposed to get? That's what we're talking about. Because it's like, you know, all these people were like, oh, there's an upswing, there's an upswing. And the, the ratings aren't falling. You're full of crap. You're, 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 you're full of crap. You're if, you, if you look at it, if you flip the numbers over and stand on your head and look at it from this angle, they're actually up. You know? And that's what it was kind of like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's not to say things have been all doom and gloom. That sounds pretty dark. I mean, in terms of ratings for the whole Jodie Whittaker era, far from it. Season, yeah, see, they have to get that positive in there. Season 11 averaged 1.6 million viewers on BBC America, for example, uh, which is up 20% on season 10's 1.3. Yeah, here's the thing. It's it's all front-loaded. It's all front-loaded. The first episode or two had a lot of viewers, and then as they started to watch the show and realize it was garbage, they t tuned out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? and so you've got those that, that like... 10 million, 11 million, whatever they got in the first episode, and that went down to like eight or nine, and they just continued to decline. They lost viewers every week, yeah. and people don't care. Um, and I don't think they're going to tune in for series 
12 unless they start with like freaking explosions like lots of explosions or something i don't know or the uk wiggers premiere uh yeah see they want to make sure like look the first episode that's not good that's not good to go from to, to drop 50 percent no. What planet is that good? That's I don't think Doctor Who has ever dropped. Well, 50%. if you stand on your head, it goes up fifty percent. So it's all how you look at it. It's the glass is still half full. That's right. Uh, the TARDIS is still <laughs> half full. It's it's still half full. The TARDIS is still half full. Uh, e Hero Andrew, thank you. We finally crushed their hopes and dreams. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Now it's over. They're actually admitting it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the next big test is whether the public's enthusiasm for the 13th Doctor. It doesn't look like it to me. Oh, and Scott wants to know what other news. Did you two check out the battle made in Knucklebomb? No. We did not. That's a comic project? Don't know what that is. I haven't seen uh, That's a manga. I think it's a manga. The next Doctor Who season is Princess Prom. Oh, my God. That oh, would be the God, best. That you. would be the best <laughs> Doctor Who episode ever. The Doctor Who Princess Prom? Doctor Who Princess Prom. And she can go with, like, Jack Harkness or something. Oh, that's... Or Missy. Missy and the Doctor go to Princess Prom together. That's right. That is the way it it's should like be. I like Jack better, but, you know. Jack, Missy, like and Missy the... I like Missy and Jack, though, quite a bit. Jack, Missy and Jack should go to prom. Missy and Jack go to prom, and, and, and Jack leaves in tears, and then the Doctor winds up with Missy. No, and I just want to see Missy my... and Jack go to prom. That would just be glorious all around. Oh, my God. Anyway... Oh my God. So Doctor Who not doing so good, uh, but it did win. It did win the Golden Tomato. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> the Golden Tomato. We talked tomato, about Tomato. Stop it. That drives us when you say Tomato. Golden Tomato Award. Uh, yeah. So we talked about this yesterday briefly. Um, Geeky did not sit in on that video. I'd love to get her thoughts on this. Uh, well, this you know my thoughts on the situation. Is Doctor Who best sci-fi fantasy show. Best voted, number one, overall, best, most, well, bestest no, review. My thing about this is, isn't this. Go back to where they tell you what they judge it on. Can you go back a page? Yeah. Go back to where they judge it's it on. This is where I'm questioning Dubious. Things. Um, Okay. Well, first of all, I think that definitely that, uh, you know, Cobra Kai and that Daredevil deserve the win. Yeah, Cobra Kai and Daredevil absolutely deserve Okay. All rankings represent the most up-to-date uh, Tato meter scores as of the 31st. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. All the lists on the Golden Tomato Awards are ordered and by adjusted score. What is your weighted formula? By a weighted formula that compensates for the variation in numbers or reviews when comparing movies or TV shows. How do you figure this? What is the formula? You should be giving out this formula for adjusted score so people can adjust it themselves and see if it adds up as well. Yeah, this is weird. It's like award, a, a ordered by adjusted score, which we're not going to tell you, which is a weighted formula that compensates for variations. It's a weighted formula that, that we can say does whatever so that we can get what we want where we want it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it compensates for variations. So basically, they're just ignoring, I guess they're ignoring the audience scores completely. Yeah, because um, the audience score on it was so bad. The they should have drug like it down. 22%. The other ones are close. Like, the, it might be the late, it might have a lower uh, critic score on the other ones, but when you combine the two scores, it's they're way, that's way lower than the other ones. So 93% of critics loved it because they, they have to. Or it just goes by um, critic score. And then what's the point of having an audience score? Because then we already know the critics are bought off. Yeah. So that's kind of weird. But then you go to literally every other, every other show, like Westworld. Look, eighty-five and seventy-three. That's not too. That's not too different. Um, you know, it's just Doctor Who for some reason. Just is just it's. Gosh, it's it's an odd thing, isn't it? Uh, Eighty-nine, eighty-one. Of course, you go to other categories. You go to other categories, and it's all it's all uh, pretty pretty uh, kosher. It all checks out. Um, best drama. Like I'm sure they've got a really like okay. So Cobra Kai probably has a fifteen percent uh, audience approval. I bet. I bet it has a 15%. Because, oh my God, no, it's got 95. 195. Look at that. See, this actually makes this actually makes sense. Um, so this is, yeah, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of dubious, I think. Uh, again, they're not, they're not taking. But it's some mystery score. formula that no one's allowed to do. It's a secret formula. The secret, is that like. Uh, the like KFC? KFC. <laughs> yeah, it's the secret KFC. Yeah, it's now, a golden taters for, tomatoes formula. Yeah, the golden, golden taters. taters. That's, um, another, that's another thing completely. You know, so. What do they got out here? What do they got out here? Best comic book movie. Black Panther. Death of Stalin. That was a comic book. Apparently. Ant Man and the Wasp. <laughs> above <laughs> Avengers Infinity War and Deadpool 2. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. Ant-Man the Wasp was above Infinity War? Yeah, how did Ant-Man the Wasp I mean, I like Ant-Man and the Wasp, but I wouldn't have put I it above it too, Infinity I liked it too, but not... So, anyway. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, 
So the YouTube bots are beginning to lag your stream. Yeah, it's because we probably because of that one the one thing. You can't say the H word. Mm -mm. You can't say the H word or the N word. Yeah, we gotta in, watch in Cobra Kai too. I mean, I know it's really good. And I've seen parts of it. It was really good, but I, we haven't actually sat and watched it. Watch it. We need to do that. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, it looks like people are leaving. Wow, maybe we're lagging out. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so I want to look. I want to go out to. I want to go out to look for uh, Picard. Uh, Picard. Uh, and I don't know what I'm even looking for. Uh, here we go. Um, it may catapult the captain into the J.J. Abrams timeline. Okay. What? Why are they doing this? Uh, you know, here's the thing. I've literally had no interest. I haven't watched any of... I haven't watched any of the new Star Trek shows. I have zero interest. And then, like, I no, used to watch... I haven't either. I used to watch, like, all of them. I used to watch Deep Space Nine and Next Gen. The only thing... Uh, the only thing I really have interest in was this Picard show, and now I, I'm hearing things that concern me, that they're going to retcon his background in all of, uh, all of, all of... Uh, oh, the H word. The H word's what, the, the name that you usually associate with the word Adolf. Heath! Whoop, there goes the truck. See, we're bleeping it out already. You, you were going to say it, and the truck went by to censor you. There you go. You. Uh, you yes, that. yes, he who should not, who shall not be named. <laughs> if you say that, the, the bots will come into the chat, and they'll shut this down. Um, <laughs> sounds like, yes, yes, that's right. Uh, okay, so while it seems, yeah, the Star Trek universe is dead in space, TV side of things prospering. Are they? I don't know if they are. Um, they said that uh, Picard will be living a very different life than the one he knew in the Enterprise. Apparently, this is thanks to a traumatic and life-changing calamity dating all the way back to the events of the J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie. Oh, so they're rewriting him they they're can because they can't because because the Star Trek movie changed everything about him. Is that what they're is that what they're saying? Are they gonna make him a complete puss because they had they had the episode where he wished he could go back in time? Did you see that episode? I forget the name of it, but yeah. he got in a fight with an alien. Um, and they stuck a pool cue through his heart or whatever. Yeah, I think I, and, I saw all the episodes. But so he wanted sure. to go back and he wished he'd never he wished he'd never done that. And then he wound up uh, being like the ultimate beta male. Uh, he wasn't a captain. He was like just he was a loser. He was just Wesley Crusher. <laughs> he was no, yeah, he was. <laughs> Basically Picard was Wesley Crusher. He was an aging, balding Wesley Crusher. Uh, Nightmare, thank you, didn't have to do that. Uh, sorry I caused problems. No, that's okay. You don't have to apologize. I'm just saying we know how these bots are. We had people people said uh, genocide more than three times. People said genocide more no, than three times. Don't do it. Don't do it yourself. It's one, two. It's like Beetlejuice. Yeah. Uh, but no, they did. In a chat, we had bots coming in and removing the comments. We were just it's reading so articles that had the word in it. Um, so basically, I'm, okay, I'm trying to follow this. So what they're doing is because of the new timeline yeah. for the new, they're going to make him different because he was changed because of the timeline. Oh yeah. my God. So really? he's, he better have an really? afro. He better have an afro. Someone That's said, yeah, Q sent him back. Well, Q needs to come and send him back again. My God. Okay. Anyway. So the Kelvin timeline, which a lot of people are having issues with the Kelvin uh, timeline. Now, I didn't hate the first couple of Star Trek movies. We talked about it before. Yeah, I watched all the um, originals, too, because my dad was a huge Star Trek fan, so I grew up with it. But I was always under the impression, I was always under the impression that the Kelvin timeline existed alongside the standard timeline. Well, apparently not. And now everything's everything's this reboot timeline. And, we're, and I wondered when, when they were going to ruin Next Gen. <laughs> you know, and no, I've heard, they just did. I've heard, it's but, problematic. It's problematic. I've heard that um yes yeah, so that means wesley crusher doesn't exist maybe he's never born <laughs> he is never born uh so this is not going to go over well i don't think this is going to go over well I, I you know it depends on how they handle it but um bogue uh, just came in to say thank you didn't have to do that shield hero falls apart in the final arcs oh and sucks worse than last jedi oh, no I hope not. now foamy is worse than mary sue than ray oh, oh I hope not. man i actually had high hopes I actually had high hopes for the show because I'm like, I like the idea of a character who has to win but has like every disadvantage. And then they turn bitter win. because of it. And they turn bitter because of it and they just start like using other other things around them. Wait, this is funny. Reinvent the past. Pussify it if you have to. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have, um, uh, what do you call him? Puss card? You're going to call him Puss card? I don't know. Puss we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. He might actually want to be a badass. He might just I doubt a bigger it. bat. No, I think they're going to totally turn him into just I mean, a if we're sad, gonna be old honest, he's sad old man. Be... Sad old man. He's going to be a sad old man. Um, sad old man. Maybe he'll have hair in this timeline. Like I said, doesn't look like it. I just like don't it. think. Um, yeah. So Picard's life was wrong with him in the 
the first one. He was great. <sighs> Picard's life was radically altered by the disillusion of the Romulan Empire. He had Stewart himself loved the show's new premise. Once he once he saw how different his reprise role would be. I don't well, want a different Picard show. I mean, I can understand why him as an actor would be happy about it because something new to do. Different. Yeah, I mean, I get so that he's boring. So I can see as an actor, like, I can I'm see like, why he'd want to do that. But I don't want, like, look, look, the only reason I, I have any interest in Picard, I'm like, they're like, oh, we're going to do a Picard show. I'm like, oh. Okay, that sounds pretty cool because again, I could give bagging, two shits about Discovery. You're I don't care. You're on everybody's love for Picard to come watch the show. Mm. But then you're telling them it's not Picard. <laughs> so, I don't know. Come watch, yeah, come watch Picard not be Picard. Um, now we're going to talk about the showrunners. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think this is going to be a, a cluster. I have no... I have no hope for this now. I'm sorry. Like, I have not even... I have not even, admittedly, I have not even watched an episode of Discovery. I have heard so many things about Discovery. I'm like, I'm going to go waste my time. Because I think I'm going to just get angry. So I'm not going to watch it. It just sounds like, I, you know, this this timeline just doesn't do anything for me. I was legitimately excited about Picard. I'm like, yeah, they're going back to next gen. Hey, that's pretty badass. I'd love to see, like, a next gen uh, reunion. No, no, they're just screwing it all up. Screwing it all up. Um... Uh, thank you, Isan uh, Doolin. Thank you. Thanks for being my new favorite show. Aww. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank we're you keeping for watching. awesome. We're trying to be awesome. Some days. We just try to be honest. Some days. We're Imagine that. Awesome. Honest is entertaining. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I am just not, I am not into this. I'm not into this. I'm not into yeah, this. Yeah, he better drink tea. So this Picard doesn't drink tea. Wow. He drinks, he drinks soy. Okay, that's funny. He drinks soy. But it's not going to be Earl Grey he hot. Better, he better drink tea. Damn it. Don't change him too much now. Don't get crazy or anything. It's like he's going to get Snapple. He's going <laughs> to drink Snapples. <laughs> like, just, we don't want to go too crazy now. You know, leave He's going to have a man bun. Yeah, they're gonna Picard's on. gonna have a man bun. Staples. Oh my god, I I have no interest now. I <laughs> seriously. Have... I almost shot my drink all over. Picard and Data get an apartment. I almost shot my drink all over the microphone. <laughs> oh my god, that actually would be a good show. I'd watch I'd that. Watch that too, actually. I would totally watch that. I would that. watch that. Thank you, JD. Nineteen ninety-nine didn't have to. Damn you, CBS and Viacom. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. We like um, Snapple too. Is what I have never watched Discovery. I don't know if I should. Should I bother watching Discovery just to see how bad it is? Because you I've can. heard I've heard horrible things about it. I'm like, okay. I haven't sat through. I haven't sat through freaking Enterprise. Do you watch okay? it because it's so good. No, I want to watch it because it's bad. <laughs> like, okay, you torture yourself. Did Talk Picard ever out. have hair? Uh, not on the show. He didn't. He actually, uh, he has been a shaved head person, um, a shaved head person for well, so his are you. Yeah, I know. I like my shaved head. Uh, it's low maintenance, but no, he, um, he was even like back in Dune. He was, I don't think he's, I don't know if he had hair. It was probably when he was in his like, you know, teens or something. Um, Oh, where am I? Where you're pointing at yeah, the screen. Right this one? Yeah. Clownfish TV, have you heard about the Star Wars Vader fan film I heard being about demonetized? The fan, Vader, probably. Vader fan film. So Disney is taking over the revenue. Revenue that's supposed to go into episode yeah, two. Yeah, of course they, they will. Probably. The, the, that would, yeah. If it was considered um, that it was uh, copyright infringing, they would get the money from it. Yeah. Picard. I heard about the fan film. I did. I haven't seen it or anything, but I did hear about it. No, no, no. Don't watch it. Watch Orville. I, I've actually I have watched seen... Orville. Not all of it. I've, I've watched some, some episodes. Of it, yeah. it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, Jason Green, sucks to see all the great shows I grew up with being sorted out. By the way, have you seen Bumblebee? No. And I want I to. Watch so bad. I want to see Bumblebee. I've... I want to see I want to see Aquaman 2. I haven't got to see it. We were going to go see the Spider-Verse, um, but then we had bad weather, and we couldn't go. Yeah, we had a nice storm. We have, we, a, a, we have a theater down the street here, and it was like one of those ones where it comes here later, and because we've been so busy, we haven't got to go to any movies. It's a dollar theater that costs seven bucks a It costs ticket. as much as it does to go to the big <laughs> does, theater, yeah, right? but um, we were, we were going to go to it yesterday, and then the weather was so bad, uh, we actually were going to head, we were heading somewhere, had to turn around and come back because the roads were too bad, and now we're supposed to get like a, over a foot of snow this weekend, so... We're trying to get to the yeah. movies. Um, yeah, I, no, Bumblebee. I actually want to see. I just I haven't had time. I I was you know so like I used to be a massive massive Transformer collector. Massive Transformer. Collector. He like, did. They used to like, watch. You do me. not understand how many freaking Transformers we had. Megatron and Starscream. It would take me watching hours. us in the bedroom. Okay? It would take me hours to clean the room when I would clean it because I'd have to dust all the damn things, and they would take me like two hours to go through the shelves and dust them all, and they would watch you all the time. But anyway. They would watch you. They would watch you. But um, yeah, I was a huge, huge Transformers fan. And uh, well, you're starting to be again, but that's my I, fault. I, I am. It is your fault. Uh, so then we, I had, I mean, I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of figures. And um, then the movie came out. The Bay, the Bayformers, the first Bayformers movie came out. And I got in a fight with the producer. 
And I hated Transformers from that point. But you on. didn't do it on purpose. I didn't he, do it on he, purpose. He came he after was, you. Yeah, he came after me. Um, so I was causing trouble on the internet like years ago. Yeah, so I got into a fight with the producer. Decided I was done with Transformers. Sold all my Transformers. I had something worth a lot of money too. Uh, put a down payment on the house and uh, swore off Transformers. I sold my for, ponies like, too. To be yeah, fair, yeah, you did. You I did. sold my Milo ponies too, including the giant three foot tall frilly frocks. I sold it to for the house too. So. Yeah. So we um, sold all of our collections, and then we we bought the house, and then we didn't have any collections for years. And uh, geeky, um, she's been trying to get me back in the Transformers. I am. On the see. Uh, Night James says, great stream so far. I'm really worried about Kim Possible as I grew up watching myself. I can understand your worry. Yeah. And I'd say that, I'd say, I'd, and I'd say you guys complain about Doctor Who too oh much, God. but I'm probably as bad as Star Wars. Well, yeah, we complain about Doctor Who, but my, our mostly our complaint about Doctor Who is the fact that they keep saying that the numbers aren't dropping when they actually are. And they're ridiculous claim, they're dic- ridiculous clingly clinging to, <laughs> are you okay? I can't Ridicu- edit that. Ridiculously clinging to this, this, this narrative that is clearly, clearly false. So Bogue Neon, were you in the Don Murphy dot net forums? Yes, I was the he go- was the in- goat I was, blowing idiot blogger. I was the goat blowing idiot blogger that Don Murphy spent an inordinate amount of time trying to smack down because I did not like Megatron's head. Because he looked like a vagina. Because he looked like a vagina. So um, Cybertron dot com posted a blog article I'd written about how stupid the Transformer robot designs looked, and uh, Don Murphy took me to his 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 board. And he uh, 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 sent his his stooges after me, and I had months of fun. Yeah, because then, you know your mama didn't love you. My mama how didn't love me. How he knew about that, I don't know. Yeah, and then <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, no, eventually we. I actually, wasn't real. I, to be honest, I'm uh, your imagination. Don Murphy and I, we actually made up. We made up on. Actually, uh, he wrote you later, apologized. But he you were apologized. Allowed, you were, but I had to keep it on down low, man. He apologized, but I wasn't allowed to say anything. It's been like twelve years, I think. Uh, I, was your tag mate? I was there. Oh, cool. Uh, I it was, was neon. neon. <laughs> I was the goat blowing idiot blogger that Don Murphy that wrote the article that wrote the article uh, about how stupid Megatron looked and that Don Murphy just freaking lost his his shit about. That was uh, him. If you want another Transformers collectible, I can give you my Devastator. Sorry, you can't have my Milo Point collection. Thank <laughs> Aww, you for the good. offer. Um, yeah, I was there. Uh, I didn't join the forums until later. And, uh, but he, yeah, he was like, he was really pissed at me. And then I found out later that he actually agreed. No, he told you, he recently, he you out, needed, it was, you were the most intelligent, it was the most intelligently the most written intelligently article written he had on it. Article. So he had to, he had to make you the example. That's what he told you. <laughs> no, Devastator did not have brushable hair. And if he did, he would not be this mad about life. I'm just saying. Yeah, all the Decepticons look stupid. They all look like <laughs> freaking <laughs> ridiculous monsters. I have not seen Bumblebee yet, but you know what? Everything I've seen of Bumblebee, they I had me. As soon as I saw the trail, the like whatever second trailer, I'm like, oh my god, it's G1 Shockwave, it's G1 Optimus. This is all we ever wanted. Like this is all Transformers That's what fans ever kept wanted. Saying. And it turned out that that was what Murphy, Murphy was trying to get the G1 movie made, and they wouldn't go for it. That's him. what they wrote originally. I, as I found out later, years later, um, that. They actually, when they had written the screenplay, uh, and we actually we actually know the screenwriter. We know the screenwriter. Um, when they wrote the screenplay, originally it was designed to be a G one movie. It was Michael Bay who came in and decided to fugly to blow it, it up, to blow it all up, and to make it all fugly. And I think there was some internal back and forth. Um, okay, is it true Michael Bay is maybe making a live action Neon Genesis thing? Oh God, I hope not. I hope not. Uh, Cyberverse is good. I've heard Cyberverse is good from multiple people. So, I actually um, didn't I mind. Um, I didn't mind Battleship though. Battleship actually, yeah, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been that. It was. I thought okay. I liked Battleship. It wasn't bad. They it even had the like pegs. They even had the, the pegs. freaking pegs. The pegs are glorious. It's like that. God, I want Monopoly. Movie. Like I think the they're Christ- making a Monopoly. The, movie. The, the Christmas special. My favorite part is the stupid rockets when they when it pings it off the other one and shoots into the tank. That's what. That's what. Ba- that's what. Uh, Battleship reminds me of. But, oh like, my god. You know. Battleship. Anyway. Battleship was okay. Yeah, it was actually okay. It has it the touch so in it. Is it really? Does it really have the song, the touch in it? Wait, what? So, oh my God. Really? Does it really? Oh my God. That's so great. Holy shit. I have to see this movie. I have to see Bumblebee. Oh, da- Dora, Bay is Dora Explorer. He's not actually directing it. He, uh, he's like, he's like somehow connected to it, like in a distant place. I guess we found that later. We did a video. If you want to see our thoughts on it, we did a video and we yeah, thought we it was him. And it basically, it's mostly us laughing the whole way the video. Just m- lots of laughing. He brings a if you go look in our history of videos, you can find it. It's just we keep laughing about it. What are you looking for? I was trying to find oh, the fart noises again. Just Why? Because. 
It's a light in the mood. <laughs> anyway. Is it the, the mood's heavy? <laughs> I mean, the mood. The mood's heavy. DCB I Titan. Thank you. Didn't have to do that battleship with great and humans for the bad guys. Yeah. It was good. Michael Bay's Monopoly. That, that's called the Monopoly for Millennials. <laughs> I want a movie of Monopoly for Millennials. Um, that's boring. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Bumblebee, I'm actually pretty excited about it. And we're starting to, like, we're getting, like, we bought, okay, so I did, uh, I didn't even review it. I was going to buy, I've got all the other G1 reissues. I'm sitting here looking at them. They're on my desk. I've got Starscream and Devastator and Hot Rod. And so we find Optimus, because I heard Optimus was out. We find Optimus the other day, freaking $50, and he doesn't have a trailer with him. 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I paid that much for my masterpiece Optimus like years ago. Um, hey, Mike Shore. Yeah, I, I was just actually going to write you this week and see when you want to get together, do a podcast. Uh, I wish I could have had G1 Transformers as a kid, but I was born in 95. G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, are to you what Bionicle was to me. Yeah, yeah we, Squid King was in the Bionicle. Yeah, he too. had Bionicles. He, was, yeah. mm-hmm. he had lots of Bionicles. Uh, oh, and wholesome news, Aquaman hit $1 billion. No call him lame ever again. I really want to see Aquaman. I know. It's like, and, Can we do other podcasts? Not really right now. Not we yet. We used to do a, a a podcast on our comic. Yeah, we did. Well, we did. We actually had Clownfish Radio. We did that for a while. Um, it's been years since we've updated. Yeah. Uh, we like YouTube better. I think YouTube's more fun, yeah. <laughs> personally, but than the podcast. Uh, we just kind of roll with it. Um, Felix, hey, how you doing? Have you guys seen Hilda? Yes. Parts. I, lost, I oh, haven't watched watching. all of it yet. But our what, kids watch more. They love it. Yeah, they watch the whole thing. They actually watch the whole series. The fact that they watch the whole series of Hilda... Uh, tells me everything I need to know because they're not going to watch if it, it's lame. Um, I did watch first couple episodes. I, I liked it. I thought it was really had a really unique art style to it. Uh, it was just very cool. It was very cool. Yeah, if it sucked, our kids would have said so. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, oh, speaking of Malapani, have you guys? Seen the, I saw them today. Have you seen the new Equestria Girls dolls? They're weird looking. <laughs> have you seen them? Their faces look like they, their faces look like if you stuck a hose in their mouth and, and filled them full of air and they like swelled up. Like they're really round and they're are really they're really weird looking. Let me see. Are these them? I don't. Yes, those are the new ones. These are them. Yes. God, they're hideous. As I know, is there just like they an image? Like that's the one, that's someone's video. I don't want to take someone's video. Well, um, okay, let's go. Let's go find an image then. We'll... Let's go up to images. They they're really weird looking. Like that's the old question. Those are the old ones. Those like are the, the real. Those stuff. are the old ones. And the new <laughs> ones are these ones right there. Oh God, they're horrifying! They look like their faces were like pudged up, like okay. not that there's someone with round faces. I have a round face. My daughter has a round face, but they just look really weird. They look weird. Okay, so do you remember that episode of Fresh Off the Boat where Jessica gets the uh, knockoff My Little Pony that has a human face and it burns her skin? That's what these are. That's what these are. Like, they don't look. I mean, it's like they're. I don't know. It just doesn't look. Their faces don't look right. They look too human. They're in that uncanny valley. I don't know, but like if you go up here, like this is what they used to look like. Yeah, they were like anime style, and it was, it was like okay. the cartoon. Yeah, it looked like the and cartoon. Now, um, now they look too much like people. And now they look like this, and they're really weird in person. Like I looked at them and I was like, "Whoa, those look weird." Here you go. I anyway, I just happened to notice them today. I don't think our our daughter's asking for those. I don't think she's really interested anymore. No, she's not. Yeah, these are creepy. These are really creepy. Um, I still so, okay so. We don't have any news on are the Shira toys coming out for new Shira or not? We don't know. Uh, not well, last I heard. All I know for about I mean I'm not saying there won't be. We'll we'll probably know next month. Uh, we might be able to tell you next month. But like last I heard, last things that were made were the Super Seven ones, and the Super Seven guy said they were only making the ones they made for uh, the New York City Comic Con that they weren't made. They weren't they weren't scheduled to make anymore. So I I don't know. Uh, Mike Shork, thank you. Didn't have to do that. I'm looking forward to Godzilla too. Yeah, but instead of Angiris, it should have been Baragon. Huge uh, Tokusatsu buff. Yeah, so is Squid King. He is a massive uh, fan. But I want to point out, our son called that was Angiris within the first... Like, we were literally on the video as soon as it released, and he called that within the it's first like, few minutes. Angiris. That's Angiris. That's Angiris. Uh, Bogue, are you guys going to review Young Justice? I actually haven't watched it yet. No. <laughs> I haven't had time. We I need to time. watch it. We're trying to, get, we're trying to get the new Clownfish uh, TV site up. We're working on... I'm actually working on uh, forums now. Um, I'm doing forums. We have a discord, but it's like a free for all. I don't know what's going on over there most of the time. Yeah. And so we're trying to do more community features on the website, uh, and kind of set up as an alternative to like newsorama newsorama. Um, you know, I'm really disappointed. They've been censoring people like crazy over there, yeah. not just for like swearing and stuff, but just like, you're not even allowed to discuss comics gate or anything like that. You're not allowed to discuss it. 
Uh, real quick, someone said, I miss Monster High and Air After High. So do we. Um, our daughter has a huge Monster High collection. I guess she has a whole bunch of them. And then speaking of uh, Godzilla, I was going to tell you guys, in case you didn't send a message on Twitter, if you collect the Godzilla figures and you like the Godzilla figures, they are they are bringing, uh, our Walmart has them, but they have the uh, the Bandai. Um, they have like four or five of them. They had, uh, what, King Caesar. They had like 64 Godzilla. They had, they're having what, the Millennium Oh, yeah, Godzilla. they're the ones they had about 10 years yeah, ago. They're yeah, had, they had... Uh, <laughs> King uh, Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, depends how you say it, yeah. and they had uh, Mecha Godzilla. So if you check your WalMarts, if you're into collecting Godzilla, because they do have them there. Yeah. Um. God, ignore this comment. Uh, my friend told me there's a huge map. Yeah, this is. They look very human. I've heard this too um, from another friend, <laughs> so I, I haven't gone and looked. I. But that's I not, have heard this. Hey, I went looking for. Okay, so we I, talked about this before, but you might as well tell the story again. About what, RC? Oh, I thought you were talking about Christian porn, but go ahead. Oh, no, I'm not going to talk about Christian porn. Nobody wants to hear about that. We heard, we looked at uh, no, we're talking about Transformers yeah, exists, and that sort of thing. I went looking for oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, pictures of RC, and apparently um, apparently, RC has has uh, uh, functional uh, human anatomy. I did not know that, and she was just wearing a robot suit because that's what the artwork tells me. That's what DeviantArt, <laughs> okay. that's what DeviantArt tells me. RC's actually got a human a human body with all the, the, the bits, all the dibbles. Um underneath her robot armor um someone real quick before you read the comment someone's yeah i said about your, your nephew would like the chucky godzilla's toys bash around my son's first toy was the the exact one was the same as this is the uh, king uh, Ghidorah, and that was his first one he's had he's been hooked ever since and he was like three when he got that oh Go my ahead. god yeah um mike short thank you don't have to bankroll the show but thank you very much i really enjoy uh friendship is magic but the show almost has no substance anymore and the community is lacking and life it once had, 2020 is most likely the end. Yeah, yeah I, hearing. I dropped it after Twilight got wings. I was yeah, sort of I like, watched it I was sort of like, no, this is just, this doesn't feel right. Why does she have wings? Oh, uh, um, Orga777 said, if you want Godzilla figures, go for NECA figures. Yeah, we have, yeah, he has Godzilla. those too. They were really Oh, my nice. favorite is the, um, I think it's NECA. The, uh, yeah, I think it's NECA too. The 8-bit. The 8-bit, the, yeah. the, the NES style Godzilla is really freaking awesome. Do you think <clears throat> Zilla should get a reboot? I don't know. Oh, Godzilla. Yeah. Okay. Nah, not really. <laughs> I don't she really draws Monster Hall exactly how he used to draw the teens. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead. You Have saying? you seen the Abomination of Titan? No, we haven't, actually. Um, it's Transformers uh, hype t- type anti while ago. Yeah, I know. I, I believe it. Christian Port Missionary. Godzilla <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Um, it is actually a thing. Uh, believe it or not, it's it's looked, a thing. Why did you look it up as a joke once? I looked up as a joke, and believe it or not, it exists. It exists. Now shall we give them your story about the cult, since we're on the Christian no, stuff? No, I don't want to talk about the cults. I don't they were talk- one, though. We promised they'd get the story of the cults. Oh, my God. Dude. Well, that, that, that was a time they were trying to drive demons out of me at the... Cause, cause the, Satan, the church of the red door or whatever. Oh, uh, it's called the door church. Yeah. That's your first indication. They call it the door. Trying to get me a join. And then they're trying to, it was just freaking weird. They all laid they hands They wouldn't let you me. leave. They wouldn't let me leave. They all laid hands on me and, and they're trying, trying to drive demons drive out of me. demons out of you because you wanted to leave. Because I wanted to leave. I'm like, no, I just, I just, I really just want to go home. You're scaring me very much. Thank you. You should have just peed on him. I should have. Like, <laughs> that's the devil made me do it. <laughs> I'd be like, I got the, you got the demons out. Uh, then Mike, run out of the building. Right, the answer, Mike, uh, I will probably get the RC figure out of curiosity. The, yeah. RC? Know. You meant RC for Transformers? I don't know. RC for, okay, so. Transformers. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so I've had, I've had interesting experiences uh, over the years. So, um, anyway. Are we wrapping this up? I think we're going to wrap this up. We have... Are you worried about coming to America, too? I saw that. I don't know. I think it's called Eddie Murphy's Out of Money. That's the only reason I can think for coming to America, too. I don't uh, know. Eddie Murphy Is has going to be his money. kid now? I don't know. I don't know. Because why would he have to come Check to America? Check your Discord. Died, Is, my, Is the Discord blowing up because... Uh, that's why we want to start the forum. <laughs> so I can keep track of what's going on because I have no idea. Uh, I was... I was... Uh, well, okay. So I was in, I'm not even, I don't want to get into it too much, but I was in, uh, when I was younger, um, I was in a, uh, a very, uh, very kind of, you know, controlling, uh, Pentecostal, um, uh, uh, organization. And, uh, then later I, I almost got into a more controlling Pentecostal, uh, organization that, that was trying to drive the demons out of me. They just married me for controlling. Being controlling. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I married the devil. No. I'm not <laughs> the devil. But Today. I love you. But I love you. But I love you. Uh, yeah, and that's what I said before about these these types that are out on Twitter and Tumblr. 
And, you know, what I'm seeing in the comic book industry, which almost reminds me of a cult. Like, I've, I've, I've been there. I know what the tactics are to try to control people, uh, to get them to think a certain way and say a certain thing and hang with certain kinds of people. And I just see that there's, there's a lot of that going on right now. And it's, it's kind of frightening. Like, the people that are involved don't even realize what's, what's no. going on. Like, Sorry, I'm distracted by this. Apparently, there are 52 episodes of New Shira. God, why? Why would you do that to people? Okay. Anyway, uh, anyway, we're, we're heading to wrapping up. I guess at this point, I'm here late. Here's my support for today. Well, oh, thank, thank you, you Muppy. Muppy. Didn't have to right, do that, but so thank you. So we're wrapping up because now we're just going all over the place. So um, we are going. Nobody likes it when I go all over the place. I try. You should have gone all over the place during the cult incident, and they would let you go. They anyway. will let me go. They will let me go. I shouldn't wrestle each other in front of the kids. We try not to. We try not to. We make them wrestle each other in front of us. No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> After he said that, I'm like, oh, crap. No, that's, no it doesn't that. mean what you think it means. And that's wrong. It's just <laughs> that wrong. That's not what I meant. Um, yeah, so we are <laughs> we are going to wrap this one up. Uh, I, I like the Shield Hero. Um, I think it's going to be a huge hit. Hopefully the ending, they don't drop the ending. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, do you like to make your own webtoon? Do you make your webtoon? What series will your story be about? We I actually, actually have one. Um, Oh, we actually have one, but it has not been updated. Because we're, we're going to redo it on our site. We're actually going to, yeah, because I'm kind of mad at Webtoons. <laughs> so I'm kind of mad at Webtoons because they're not paying people anymore. Uh, not like they used to. So, um, But we're going to be moving our comic and updating it on our Clownfish TV site, which we are building, uh, building right now. We're going to have forums. I'm beta testing them right now. Uh, we're going to have uh, content. We're going to pop culture news and stuff. Mm -hmm. And Lots um, of stuff. Yeah, so we got more stuff coming up in 2019. It's just a lot of work. And that's why if I disappear, <laughs> that's why I disappear. Um, Spicy K. I worked on Godzilla 2. That's awesome. That's a cool job. I want your job. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I worked on Godzilla 2. I think you'll love the designs of Kaiju, whether you're right about who they are or not. Aww. Love the show, by the way. Well, Thank I hope you. he's right because our son would be upset if he's not. Yeah, but it's awesome that you worked on it, and we'll tell him you. That That's you were very on cool. I'm thrilled because he loves anything Godzilla. I like that they um, kept the designs recognizable. They updated them, but they kept them recognizable. They could have gone like a totally different way with the designs and made all kinds of like really weird shit, but they made sure that fans of the classic uh, designs w would be into mm -hmm. this, you know, and that. You know, whoever whoever was in charge of that decision, Spicy K, uh, passed that along. It is appreciated that they actually did, uh, you know, keep old school fans in mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, same with Bumblebee. Like, guys, how hard would it have been to, to, to make the Transformers look like that in the first movie? Yeah, we're on Wikipedia. You know? <laughs> yeah, we are. We're actually protected on Wikipedia, which is a whole other story. We have to do a story on that sometime. We actually had a big problem, so we ended up being, our, our account was protected for a, it was a, it's a, we'll do that another night. But we gotta go. Are you going to test out deleting comments on your website? Uh, I don't know. The comments and the forums are actually going to be linked together. So, um, but yeah, we want, we basically want alternative to Godzilla. <laughs> uh, Mike Short. Thank you. Netflix Godzilla. Troll District. Yeah, it's boring. We've been trying to get through it. Um, yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to set up something as kind of an alternative to uh, Newsarama to the uh, comics forums on Reddit. <clears throat> I'm not a real like. Look, we can't let. We don't want there there to be a free for all. For you know, definitely don't want there. Are there are rules. There are rules. Um, if for no other reason the than we the rules. yeah, then for no other reason than you know, hey, we, you know, we got server rules and all that junk, so we can't go like we can't turn it into four chan or anything. But uh, I don't like that the comic book uh, news sites are either shutting down their forums so fans can't have a legit voice. Or they are censoring to the point where, like, unless you say something positive, you're unless not you allowed. Unless you agree with them, you can't. Yeah, unless you agree with them, you're not allowed to say anything. And I'm sorry, but that's that's not cool. That's not cool. And and yeah, so we're gonna try to try to come up with an alternative. Because we're gonna wrap this up. Because you keep saying we're wrapping up, and we're not. I know. Yeah, I'll have to check out Knuckle Bomb. Um, Godzilla Destroyer Monsters Melee was really fun. Uh, yeah, after the website, I don't know. We're we're thinking about. It. So guys, we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so much for, for, uh, popping on tonight. We had uh, over 500 people on. It was so fun. We made my day a little better because it was bad. Yeah, it's been a bad day. It's been a bad All day. All right, so we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We're for 16,000 people. That's, I know. That's, Let's tell your that's friends. That's pretty cool. I hope, I hope they stick because sometimes YouTube takes them away. It's weird. It's like they go down and then they go back up. Nope, they're still there. Okay. okay. So, so we're we'll good. Bro. I think we're soon. officially over 16,000. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so Dibble. much. Dibble. The Dibble avatars. We need right. Dibble, Dibble avatars. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. We got to find the off switch. There we go.